the news and whatever we do here, we talk a lot about politics. But here's a scoop. I don't really care. I'm a scientist. I care not for the petty squabbles of man. I answer to the highest order. We're one nation, guys. Not that nation, but a single nation of homo sapiens living in a perfect system that meets all our needs. Or at least it used to. Humans live on the planet like bacteria live on the body. There's good bacteria and bad. The gluten intolerant creationists can at least agree with me there. If not, good luck regrowing your gut flora with rosary beads. Just pray the diarrhea away. I dare you! <laughs> what kind of bacteria is humanity then? We know the consequences of one out of control species in your colon, i.e. sitting alone in church, putting the P.U. in your favorite pew. <laughs> what happens when a single species torpedoes the colon of the planet? Answer, it's a lot worse than holding in your farts for Jesus. <laughs> Living systems like our planet are governed by two laws. Number one, no jerks. Two, no waste. Now, no jerks. I know not being a jerk is hard for some, but in ecology, <laughs> no one species is a marauding mass murderer. A lion will kill a gazelle, but it won't bulldoze a forest to eat a gazelle burger with cheese. <laughs> if, if plants and animals could hire a sketch artist for humans, this is what we'd look like. <laughs> now, no waste. Not no shit. No waste. In biological systems, the byproduct of one is used by another in a perfect loop. Even feces is a hot meal for some. <laughs> Eat shit and don't die for a lot of good animals, ironically. <laughs> Whereas in the human world, who's going to eat the fidget spinners when that idiot craze ends? You can't bury them in the ground to grow something better. It doesn't work like that. Despite our obvious shortcomings, we're still the best things here. In second place are the chimpanzees for their ability to shape and render tools. Seen here. That's not a tool, that's a stick! <laughs> I've got an iPhone and they're poking at the dirt with rejected foliage. <laughs> it's enticing to think we're above natural law, but we're not. We're a part of the environment, albeit less a part now and more a tumorous aberrant mutation, but still a piece of the larger whole. And I can't believe I have to say it like this. We need the environment because it's where we live. Not to mention it's everything we eat eat, drink, and breathe. No matter how much you ignore it, this is not how you function in a living system. The signs of decline are all around. Remember when the sun didn't kill people? <laughs> Half the Great Barrier Reef is dead, and our government is letting it happen because they either don't understand or don't care that choking a turtle is bad. <laughs> Leaders, you're supposed to lead us into a better future. What's the plan? Mars won't be ready in time. We don't have that kind of tech. But we do have the kind of technology to reverse damage done and build the sustainable Eden here. Did you know we can filter plastic out of the ocean, put it in a 3D printer, and make whatever we want? And have you heard of farming city technology? That's your edible Shangri-La right there. You're welcome. <laughs> We're the smartest species. We haven't built a futuristic wonderland yet. If we abandon most of our major systems, good science will get us there in a zany 10 or 20 years, where it seems like we don't get anything right, but we pull through in the end. Sounds nuts, but don't act like you don't want shit to get crazy. Politicians, <laughs> be governed by science and set a course for an eco-glamorous future for all humankind.